Einstein in 1905 was in some ways um, really disadvantaged, and in some ways, uh, I think he himself would have said he had this great opportunity. He was disadvantaged because, for a variety of reasons, he completely, you know, failed to get the kind of university job or uh, really entry into graduate school as it was then, not quite the way we do it now. Um, after he finished his physics degree at uh, Switzerland's leading technical institution, the uh, the, the Polytechnic in Zurich, and he just he alienated his professors. He didn't bother paying attention to things he wasn't interested in, all that, you know, the kind of student you would expect Einstein to be. So he didn't get any help from them when he graduated, and he was in the wilderness. He taught algebra to, to uh, high school students for a while. In, that must in, have gone really well. Can you imagine being, can you imagine <laughs> being Einstein's, you know, saying, I, I couldn't figure out a quadratic equation under Einstein's tutelage? It would be very embarrassing. Um, so he's disadvantaged. On the other hand, he got this job in the patent office where he was looking at technical material all the time. He was learning to visualize physical, um, physical situations. And he had, um, partly because he didn't really, he wasn't really a great family man, he spent really a lot of time, even though he's married and had a young son, he had great freedom to just think. And I believe that, that one of the things you see in Einstein after he gets a patent office job and really starts settling into being a sort of grown up, um, he really starts developing the, the characteristic you would have for the rest of his life, which was this extraordinary ability to focus no matter what was going on around him.